today is the 6th of August. I just wanted to show this cypress vine back here. It's got some debris. We had some wind. This is my toothache plant. It's kind of cool looking. I like these little dudes. That's a, actually some big ones. Anyway, it's 8 a.m., about 78 degrees. I think when I looked at the clock or looked at the temperature an hour ago, it was 73. So that's pretty good. You can see it doesn't look like my boxwoods are going to make it. Those two especially. The one on the bottom has a little bit of green. But, and that one still looks alright. Um, this week has been really rough. It's been high humidity, high heat. That one's not going to that's not looking good either. We've been watering them. They're just not doing well. So I'd say there's one, two, three, four, five, maybe that I'm not going to make it. My yarrow looks pretty. Ooh, it's a cool breeze. Okay, so anyway, my health wasn't great this past week. The weather was not really pleasurable. So I wasn't outside much and I didn't even get my seeds planted. guy sprawly African star flower looks really healthy um, this is coming back it's getting some more leaves and I need to cut some of the bad ones off on the fountain grass. I think these look alright. Yeah. They're still alive. Italian cypress are tough around here. There's a tassel on this one now. That doesn't look good that side. <clears throat> you can see the pomegranates are coming along. These agastaki have done anything over here. No, I cut out the dead that was on these. It looks like I need to on this side too. I did once, but they've gone to seed. It's very pleasant this morning, I will say that. Very pleasant. And oh, I gotta show these, I think they're so cute. Purple balls. Their little leaves are darling. My yellow bell didn't make it. A lot of things died out of here. These ancho peppers 
are still doing okay. And my basil was all right. And the eggplant's coming in. That's a basil too. But I don't have a lot planted in here. Put my snapdragons. They came back with the flush of blooms after I cut them back. Some of them did. That red velour. Petunia is looking pretty good. I want to take that petunia out, but not in this kind of heat. This little guy's coming in. Oop, a pretty butterfly. That's my thumbnail. This um, bougainvillea is getting big. That's a good sign. I need to weed some of this too. Oh, that day lily might make it. Both of them might. There's some green. Glad I didn't pull them. I've had so much purslane, because that's what this is. I've had so much purslane coming out of the soil this year. Now this boxwood looks pretty, so it may go out front. And that one doesn't look so bad. I took the landscape fabric off of them because we've had like cloudy days and high humidity and they I think they've kind of liked it and we've gotten some sprinkles so not a lot of rain but we have had a few they're kind of pretty we've had, had a few days where we've gotten isolated sprinkles. Look at this. Oh, you can see some flowers at the top. Oh, it feels good out here this morning. No clouds in the sky. That's probably why it feels good. It's been kind of oppressive here. For that I think if I start feeling better and the weather cooperates we're supposed to have about three days of cloudy days and then I think it's supposed to get back to the usual hot dry desert so we shall see if it does I'm gonna be planting in those beds starting um, this week the chard look good. Some of the beans have starting to shoot up. This bean over there is doing well. I think my husband must be training it over that. Um, I just picked a bunch of corbachis and we had those for dinner last night. They were really good with sausage and onions and it looks like I've got some more cherry tomatoes to pick I'll go over here Ugh, I don't know what's going on here looks like this thing might be shooting out I have to look
Yeah, this is wet. This is wet. I'd say that thing back there has got a problem. We've had more water problems too. So I was going to pull all these down, but they're still producing, so I won't. There's the Serranos. I don't think this... Ooh. Maybe it's wet from something else. I don't know. I don't think that tomato made it. So what I think I'm going to do is, this is my money maker here, and it's not it's been fighting for its life in here so i think i'm going to take it out and put it over there i think i will wait till tonight to pick the tomatoes we're supposed to have a dry day. Tomatoes look good, too. This guy, this eggplant, I don't know. I need to get rid of all the leaves underneath of it. It's producing so many flowers, but I don't know that anything's... I've seen a bumblebee over here. Oh, there's a wasp. Maybe the wasp is... I don't think wasps pollinate that great, but... Um, the moss roses don't look... They've been shaded so far, so they're still not open. These beans are looking like they might do well. And that cowpea, eh, it's turning. Some basil that popped up out of the rocks. And this is probably my prettiest angelonia. Starting to get some blossoms on my Roma tomato, and this guy shot up really good. And I think I have a zucchini over here to pick. Yes, I do. So that one will be coming out. We let it go too far. And then I've got this, I think this is a melon that's come in. And I've been fighting the aphids on here. But I'm starting to get some noodle beans. But look at the ants. They're just delivering aphids like crazy. So I'll be out here again working on getting... I just spray them with Castile soap. And... It doesn't really do anything to the ants, but it does take care of the aphids. But boy, the ants are on there like crazy right now. Oh, I wanna put the lid back on this. Dude. I have the lid off thinking if it rained in there. That's really a healthy plant here. Don't know that it has any fruit on it yet. So I don't know what it is, but it's pretty. Came out of the compost, and then this is my basil. And it will probably, it's been trying to um, flower. Haven't done anything with my walking onions. Boy, the rocks are really wet, so I don't know if we had rain or what. This is... Okay. I thought this would spin easier than it does. 
there's my purple balls. And then I have regular basil in here. No, I have, I think this is cinnamon basil. Yep. Cinnamon basil. And one salsa pepper. Kind of a unruly garden, but I like it. So pretty. It's my prettiest flower, I think. I was supposed to cut all this stuff back and I didn't get out here and do that. Those petunias look pretty good. And the sago palm is starting to look a little better. I'm going to take this gerrymander bush that's at the end of this raised planter and I am going to propagate it. I'm going to put it in a bunch of pots, try to get it going, and then I'm going to put it up where I'm taking out rosemary just because it's a money saver. But also the bees absolutely love germander and I know it does well. So, and I can keep it trimmed like this one doesn't look managed because it's not, but <clears throat> that bush over there has been cut and it will probably bloom again. You'll probably get a fall bloom here. And so I think I'm going to put those across the top. They won't weep down, or they could weep down, but I don't want them to. Um, but I'm really tired of the rosemary, the weeping rosemary up there. It's woody. It wasn't kept real well because we were working and so we didn't do a lot of things in the yard and it just got out of control so time to pull that out we're going to pull out the plum trees and i think i'm going to be happy with what we do up above it'll change the look again subtly though That's my garden diary. Today is August the 2nd, and this is what I got out of the garden. It's about 7.30 at night. It's 100 degrees, and it's probably 40% humidity. It's not a pleasant feeling here. We're just not used to any kind of humidity, so it really makes it rough on us, but. I got lots of cherry tomatoes, and I've got a few 4th of July tomatoes, and I got a salsa pepper, some Fresno, some corbachi, and a few okra. We sprayed the okra tonight for um, ants. My bean plant I've been spraying for ants with aphids so hopefully and then my husband's been um, monitoring and killing squash bugs so I think um, if we could get the, I think the plants like this humidity it's just hard on humans I guess that's it